Relationship Advice Update How do I, 24 male, convince my sister, 31 female, that I don't want to sleep with her fiancé, 30 male? Original Post I know the title sounds strange. I'll try to be concise with all of the context. I, 24 male, have a sister, 31 female, and due to the age gap, we were never close. We grew up in the US, but after college, my sister moved to Europe. I haven't seen her much since she was 18, and I was 11, but because we weren't very close, we were fine with the occasional texting and every other year Christmas visits. Two very important pieces of context for this story. The first is that, even with the age gap, we look extremely alike. In the few times she's been home since I was older, Delta 16 and 23, people have commented that we could be twins. The second is that I am 100% straight. I've only ever dated girls, and have never been interested or experimented with men in any way. I've been with the same girl since I was 21. Okay, so on to the main story. About a year ago, my sister met her fiancé, who I'll call Rob. I met Rob for the first time this Christmas. We quickly bonded over a shared hobby, RuneScape LOL. We chatted a ton while he was here, and because it was Christmas, we were usually drinking. He seemed a little touchy, touching my arm slash my back, laughing a lot, a few oddly timed hugs. I thought nothing of it, maybe that's just how Europeans are, I've never been. Anyway, they went back to Europe just after New Year's, and Rob and I have been casually chatting on WhatsApp, mostly about video games. Then one day, he stopped responding to my messages. A few days later, I asked my sister if he was okay. She said yes, but she needed to talk to me. We agreed to FaceTime the following night. To keep it short, here's what my sister told me. Rob found me extremely attractive. Apparently, because he's attracted to my sister, he also found me attractive, we look a lot alike, and is now questioning his sexuality. Like, I was some sort of gay stepping stone? My sister said they are going to work things out, but she asked that I stay away from Rob. I figured I rarely see them and this was all bizarre, so I agreed. She also asked me to promise I'd never sleep with Rob. Which is insane. Because not only am I straight, but the implication is that I'd sleep with my sister's fiancé, unless I was told not to. I told her she was being ridiculous, and I'd never do that. We got into an argument because I wouldn't specifically agree not to F him. I asked why he wasn't being held accountable, it should be his job to leave me alone. He's the one who wants to sleep with me, I'm not attracted to him at all. I was told I wouldn't be invited to her wedding. She hung up on me after I told her Rob would probably cheat on her with someone in Europe if she wasn't even sure he wouldn't sleep with her own brother. It's been about a week since this happened and I don't know what to do. We haven't talked since. Neither me nor my sister has told my parents, but it will definitely hit a boiling point when wedding invitations go out. What the hell do I do? Should I apologize and promise I won't sleep with Rob to smooth things over? Also, just to be clear, I find nothing wrong with being gay slash bi or anything else. None of this post is coming from a place of me being upset for being accused of not being straight, or something like that. Edit, I'll be speaking to my parents about it tonight, mostly because I'm worried my sister may try to frame this situation differently. I'll be showing them this post, as well as the message Rob sent me since I posted here. We'll update in a few days. Now for the top advice before reading the update. You promise her not to sleep with her boyfriend, as long as she promises not to sleep with your girlfriend. I love this one. Simplifies how to make her see how crazy she is versus the top comment, which I think is too complicated to work. Okay I'll promise, but first you promise me you'll never sleep with my girlfriend. What? Why would I ever do that? You should keep your distances from both of them. This is an insane situation, and your sister is heading towards big problems. This is heading to a blow up between the two of them or a miserable life if she does marry him. Agreed, but if I were OP, first I would email her saying that I'm hurt by her behavior, blindsided by her significant other's admission, and not interested in being involved in any of it. Include a bullet list and why her demands are absolutely nuts, which are plentiful. Then go no contact until she figures her stuff out. Then you at least have something to cover your butt with your family, in case it gets worse and she tries to throw you under the bus because there's an almost definite chance her situation will worsen significantly. In these types of situations, a way to ease things is just ask, in your mind, what do you see happening? She'll say she envisions him cheating on her with you. You respond, why would I do that? Why would I sleep with a man, any man, 
when I'm not attracted to men at all. Make her follow her own absurd thought process and pull the thread until she unravels the whole thing, and see it doesn't make sense. It takes two to tango. What does make sense is her insecurity about her fiancé's newfound sexuality. It probably sucks to be in her situation and she doesn't know what to do, but it's certainly not your responsibility to deal with that side of things. Best of luck to you both. And now for the update. The post got a lot more attention than I was expecting, so here's what has happened in the last two days. I grew increasingly angry at my sister over what felt like accusations on her end during our conversation. I saw some comments about getting ahead of this, and talking to my parents ASAP, so that my sister couldn't get to them first and spin the story. Originally, I wasn't worried about this, but her behavior during our conversation was so erratic that I couldn't put it past her. I live only 20 minutes from my parents, so went to their house for dinner that night to have the talk. I asked them to refrain from commenting slash asking questions until I had said everything. I covered the basics. Rob and I had chatted, he stopped responding, so I talked to my sister. She blew up. I told them all the details, Rob was into me. Sister said they were going to work things out. I was asked not to sleep with him, and I got angry. I was very clear to my parents about why I was upset. That I was uninvited from the wedding. I know I'm not perfect, so I also told them what I said to my sister before she hung up, which I do regret. When I finished what I had to say, my dad started laughing, which he is known to do when he's uncomfortable. My mom was absolutely horrified. They both admitted that they had noticed he was touchy-feely with me over Christmas. We talked for a while about the questions they had. Had Rob said anything to me before the phone call? No. Had I known Rob was gay slash bi slash questioning? No. We had a whole discussion about why I wouldn't make the promise to her, and to my surprise, they were completely on my side. Now, here is where the crap hit the fan. As I mentioned in my last post, Rob had messaged me. He had said he was so sorry for causing all of this, for ruining my relationship with my sister, etc. He said that he was confused, but he does love my sister, and wants to move past this. I responded, much later that night, right before going to my parents, by saying that things may not recover from this, and he should have either broken up with my sister to figure himself out, or kept this to himself. My parents were beyond upset to hear about this, and that I wouldn't be going to the wedding. Even though I asked them not to. They called my sister immediately after I left their house. They wanted to know if she was okay, why she was so accusatory with me, and what was happening in regards to the wedding. Well, folks, it was a crap show. According to my dad, she started freaking out, yelling, sobbing, and accusing them of taking my side. My dad tried to explain that there are no sides here, they just wanted to remedy the situation. Their call lasted less than 5 minutes, with my sister going on a tirade about how this is her life and she won't let us ruin it. She claimed she saw my response to Rob, and that we were all trying to break them up. She then uninvited my parents, who were paying for the whole thing, from the wedding, and blocked them on everything. We are all worried that she's having a legitimate mental breakdown. We have no way to contact her, and we have no family anywhere in Europe to help out. We have no idea how to help her. At this point, we are quite sure the wedding won't happen, as my parents certainly won't pay for it after all of this. We are worried she may hurt herself, but we know Rob is a good-natured guy and will hopefully take care of her. I'm at a total loss. My sister and I were never close, but I never imagined her relationship with everyone in our family would completely implode within 72 hours. Honestly, looking for advice on where to go from here. Rob hasn't blocked me on WhatsApp, but I am unsure if reaching out to him is a good idea. Now for some top comments. Why am I starting to get a sense that Rob's sexuality has come into question by your sister, even before your situation arose? It seems like the situation you guys had was the final straw that broke the camel's back, and it sent your sister into some manic episode. Edit, and it's now just making more sense to me that he was flirtatious while drunk. I'm sure that they've gone out before and he's done the whole flirty slash touchy slash feely deal in front of her before. This is why I think she is so upset. I bet she knew before Rob did, and thought ignoring it would make it go away, or if he never realized it then maybe she was wrong and he just has that vibe, but now she can't hide from it, and to compound her anxiety, it was her sibling that opened the floodgates. It isn't OP's fault in any way, I think she is just lashing out. Had it been a celebrity or complete stranger, she could be mad at the either. It makes me think of that King of Queens episode where they can pick one fantasy lay, and the wife picks some celebrity and the husband picks the clerk they see every week at the store. 
I wouldn't contact Rob if I were you, I'd get your parents in contact with him though. You should remove yourself from the situation, and just pass it off to your parents. Yes, I've deleted Rob from WhatsApp, and I'm completely stepping back from the situation. I will wait for my sister to, hopefully, some around. I don't even care about an apology from her, I just hope she's okay. You're so hot, you ruined an entire family. Stop being so hot bro. Achievement unlocked, familial home wrecker. Now for the next story. Stepbrother, 16 male, came to Madge, 16 female, room at night and cut my hair with scissors. I moved out and parents want me back with him still there. Stepbrother of 6 months. My mom married his dad. So, a few weeks ago in a morning I noticed my stuff in my room had moved. I told my brother, big bio brother, 23, and he didn't take me seriously, but taught me how to record my room at nights with my phone. I've been recording myself every night and nothing happened, so I was ready to believe that nothing had happened that night. This weekend however, stepbrother came into my room at about 3.15 am. He came to me with scissors, cut a small piece of my hair and left my room. It was so weird and shocking. It was a very small amount, something I likely wouldn't have noticed. I sent the video to my siblings, brother and bio sister, 19. They told me to pack a bag immediately and picked me up and took me with them. They sent the video to our parents. Parents questioned stepbrother and he says he doesn't remember doing it at all, and said he was likely sleepwalking and asked to see a doctor. I don't believe him, and neither do my siblings. Parents want to solve this problem by taking both of us to family therapy. They want me to come home and discuss this, all four of us. They say I'm not in any real danger, as he didn't hurt me or do anything inappropriate or actual. My siblings strongly disagree, and say what he did was very inappropriate, and they're not going to let me go back there as long as stepbrother still lives there. Parents say they will install a lock on my door, so that I can lock myself in at nights. Stepfather is upset at my siblings, and claims they've turned this into a much larger issue than it is, he says they could have just parented the problem away by punishing, and it's not a big deal. Honestly, I keep hearing everyone with strong opinions about this and I don't know who's right or wrong. What should I do? Do I go back? Do I just never go back? My best friend says I should just go to the police and press charges against stepbrother. Now for the advice. Listen to your siblings. Your mom wants you to just grin and bear it, so she can have a happy little home with her new husband. Both of them are in denial over how serious this situation is. Your stepbrother for sure needs therapy, but you do not need to be in the house when that happens. Stay away. Big no. Huge no. This. Her parents totally just want a happy family and want to keep up appearances. Their friends and grandma are going to wonder, why is daughter slash stepdaughter not living at home? And they don't want people thinking there is something wrong. Well, there is something wrong. Her stepbro clearly knew what he was doing. Honestly, you're the biggest idiot I have ever met if you believe his story about sleepwalking for a second. Sure, it makes family gatherings awkward, but that is 100% her parents' fault for not taking this seriously, particularly stepdad. I am sure if they took your side to this seriously, you probably would have felt safer, and might have stayed, totally okay if not. But they didn't. So now, because they cared more about keeping appearances than your safety, they pushed you out. Trust me. It is their fault, not yours. Feeling safe in the one place you should always feel safe in the world is paramount. As he didn't hurt me, or do anything inappropriate or actual. On what planet is that appropriate? How is it appropriate to cut off someone's hair while they are sleeping? Like, I can't. Makes me wonder if he has any other trophies stashed in hiding spots nobody knows about. Dollars to donuts, this dude didn't start with fresh cut hair. If they're so confident about how non-threatening it is, tell them to tell all their friends and family and see what kind of reaction they get. Sounds like they're not confident at all, since the parents are upset that OP siblings know. They know it's creep as hell, and wanted to keep it quiet. Now for the last story. My best friends, 40 male, girlfriend, 26 female, is jealous of me, 39 female, over something that never happened. I'm sorry for the long post, but I'm trying to be as detailed as I can. Me and my best friend have been friends since we were 6, for that reason we have a really close friendship. But that seems to trigger his girlfriends, even though there was never something romantically going on between us. I've tried everything for them to like me, like hanging out, trying to include them in plans, 
for them to see I'm not a threat to their relationship at all. He met this girl four months ago, I live in a foreign country, and I only visit home once a year, so the only chance we get to hang out is when I'm in my home country. They went to visit me and my family together at my parents' house, and I thought it went well. He never skips a Christmas visit, and I'm never here on these dates, Christmas slash New Year's Eve, so it was strange that he didn't visit at all on those days, because he even visits my parents when I'm not home. So, I texted him cause I'm leaving on January the 9th, and he said that his girlfriend thinks there's something going on between us, so she won't stop arguing about it. She even threatened me on a Facebook message saying, that if she sees another text from me, I'm in trouble, and she's going to tell my husband, I've been married for 13 years and have 3 kids. She's foreign, and the relationship is really recent, so she doesn't know me. This all happened because I sent him pictures of me and my kids. Since I don't post on social media, I do like to share moments and pictures directly with my closest friends and family over texts. I'm not visiting with my husband over visa issues, therefore he's not in the pictures, but they're friends themselves. My best friend introduced me to him at some party. I don't know how to proceed really, I don't want to lose my best friend over something this stupid, she won't listen to what I have to say and just gets more and more aggressive to me and my kids. Now for the top advice before the little update. Your best friend chooses these immature twits. Forward every single message she sends you directly to your best friend with the phrase, tell her to stop contacting me. Does she send these messages to your female co-workers, business contacts? After a few messages, block her. Then keep sending him more pics. I think he knows about these texts. She sent them very late at night and they're living together. But from all the advice, I'm starting to think he likes it that his girlfriends try to play this possessive game with him or whatever, but I hate to be dragged into it every damn time. Never asked for it. This is not your problem, it's his. Let him deal with it. Are you worried she'll tell your husband? If so, why? I'm not worried about that at all, there's really nothing going on, other than me seeking to say goodbye in person. She was invited as well. What worries me is that, he is used to women treating him like this. She made him delete Facebook, but you're right, he's an adult and boundaries exist for a reason. Could he be using your close relationship to make them a bit jealous? Perhaps he likes it. It's odd that they all go through such lengths. If it happened once, I would look at it as an off case, but if it keeps happening with every girlfriend, a pattern seems to be forming with one common denominator, him. Wow, I never ever thought of this, because it is weird indeed that every one of them hates me, when seriously, just want to have a nice friendship with them too. If he's really doing that, I'd be seriously so disappointed, but it does sound possible. Update, I did speak with him, but all I felt was that he's playing victim. Claiming she's been awful to him as well, and even though she had no right to attack me or my family without even knowing us, I can't help but wonder how he's manipulated the situation. She texted me back again, saying that I got what I wanted, and that she's staying somewhere else because of a huge fight, but I'm really just fed up of the situation. Right now, I don't feel like my friend is to be trusted at all, and I'll just give this friendship a break, my life is nowhere near this kind of drama right now. Thank you all for taking the time to read this and giving me advice, I really appreciate your comments, big hug to you all. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.